A Korean adoptee in Denver spent all her life searching for her biological mother, and today her wish came true. Chut, her birth mother lives in Koreatown, and today she got to meet her after more than 50 years. CBS 2's Jasmine Veal was in Monrovia for that emotional reunion just ahead of Mother's Day. There's a car, there's a car. Sarah Klein Hans is about to meet her half sister Linda and birth mom, who they call Oma, at any minute. I wonder what she's feeling right now. She is anxiously waiting at a friend's house in Monrovia. She flew in from Colorado with her two kids for this reunion that's been decades in the making. It's like super real. I just need a sip. At just 14 months old, Sarah was adopted by a family in New Hampshire from Korea with her half brother. They each had a locket with their mom's picture and their baby picture in it. Her whole life, she's wanted to reconnect with her birth mom. Every year on my birthday, I think of you like I every single year and I look out and I go, are you alive? Are you wondering? Are you thinking about me? They only just spoke on the phone two weeks ago and now the big moment is finally here. <laughs> Hugs and tears. I'm so happy. I'm so grateful to you. As Sarah embraces her mom for the first time after 53 years apart. I'm here. You're more beautiful in person. Showing her mom the locket she has kept all these years. Look what I have. Oh, yeah. I found you. <laughs> Sarah's half sister Linda, who she never knew existed, had been looking for Sarah for 15 years. Sarah used the genetic testing company 23andMe to begin her family search. Linda finally found her through Facebook and sent a message. Sarah also found what she believes is a picture of her biological father who passed away in 2015. He was a sergeant in Seoul when he met her mom. This is a photo, and I don't know if this is my father. Yeah, your father. Sarah toured as a dancer and model and is now a single mom. Her son Addison survived leukemia as a young boy. And while Sarah says she can't imagine ever leaving her children, she admires what her mom had to do. How selfless do you have to be to know that your child is going to have a better life? And so as a mixed baby, it's a, it's a kind of hard time, and it was the late 60s. So for now, it's the delicate and slow process of getting to know each other. My grandson? Yeah, your grandson, Addison. Yeah, grandson. He's 17. And enjoying the little moments together, like talking about their favorite dish, kimchi. Did he like kimchi? Kimchi too. So Sarah and her family are here until Thursday where they have a lot of catching up to do. And Sarah says they then plan to have her birth mom visit them in Colorado. Here in Monrovia, Jasmine Veal, CBS 2 News.